What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's project is going to be a Christmas themed video once again. Just kind of an introduction to cutting out 3D shapes. So I've got a Christmas tree star for the top of the tree and then I made a little tree right here. Um, all the sizing is done for you for 3mm wood. That's what I have linked in the description below. You can buy it from Amazon. It's what I use so I don't waste a ton of wood. Uh, this one, I've scaled these down a lot for the sake of the video. So this one is very, very tight fitting. It doesn't fit all the way together. But if you leave the sizes alone in light burn it'll fit perfectly for like i said three mil wood as always the files are included in the description below totally free all i ask is that you subscribe to the channel and help me out and the settings are for my longer 10 watt ray 5 laser so you may have to play around with the cut settings but as always we'll get right into the video and thanks for watching all right guys get Lightburn opened up and we can go ahead and get started i have this svg file of a star i found this for free online so that's going to be our starting point today now, as you can see, the lines are not great. It's a little bit pixelated. So I'm going to right click on it and go down and use the trace feature. And we'll just clean up those lines a little bit so it looks a little bit sharper. So I always click fade image. As you can see here, those lines aren't quite tight. I'm just going to move the slider down a bit until I'm happy with it. And that should give us a little bit cleaner of a look. Then we can move our original image away and just delete it. And now I'm going to size this up I'm going to make this about eight inches wide that's about the size of the star on my tree and i think it looks reasonable so we'll scale that up and then i'm just going to right click it and we will do a copy and paste to give us another star you could also use duplicate i have a bad habit of just doing copy and paste so get that fit on the work surface here and there we go we're halfway there so what we need to do to make this a 3d shape is basically cut two slots in the star one in the top of the star one in the bottom of the other star essentially so they can fit together and we have a 3d shape so i'm going to be doing a cut line right down here i'm going to be making this three millimeters so i do my rectangle and then i make my width three millimeters because that's the width of the wood i'm working with now if you're working with something thicker or thinner this is the dimension that matters this is what you want to size appropriately to your thickness of wood so that everything fits together and it's not too tight too loose it just fits perfectly so i also want to clean up some of these lines a little bit so i'm going to ungroup this and then select everything and just convert to path that's going to allow us to edit the nodes so then come over here to our node editor tool i'm going to click on this and just move these blocks a little bit just to make everything a little more symmetrical square up the lines make it even on both sides and then we need to use the trim feature on everything that falls inside this rectangle. So highlight the stuff here and just hit the T button and it should trim out the parts inside the rectangle. I'm going to move these ones up as well, just get everything a little more symmetrical. And then I'm going to draw a line across the middle here so we can delete the rectangle below this line. So again, we're going to use the trim tool. Just select that line, select the rectangle below and then hit T and it should disappear for you. And then we can delete this whole line. I'm just using that as a reference point to sort of cut below that. So now we have an opening into the star. We have to do the top side as well. So same thing, click on it, click the T button. That will delete what's inside of the rectangle. I'm gonna move these nodes until we're happy with the position and the shape of the star. And then same thing, draw a line across just as a reference point. Then we're going to edit the nodes once more, click on the rectangle above the line and hit T, it will trim. And once again, we can just delete this line. So now we have an opening from the top of our star into the center. On the other star, we're going to cut that same slot, but in the bottom of the star so the two can slide together and we can glue them into place. So we're going to do the exact same thing on this star. We're going to take the rectangle, draw a shape from the middle to the bottom of the star, set our width to three millimeters or whatever your specific wood is and once again just get it centered on both points we're going to edit these nodes a little bit anyway so if it's not perfect we will square up those lines afterwards and once again just highlight everything make sure it's all converted to a path and it's ungrouped and then we can go ahead click the edit node tool and hit the t button and we will trim out the middle part that we don't need now you can see our nodes are a little off here so i'm just going to align those a little bit nicer and then we'll draw our line for reference and make our little cut. And same as before, this line is just for reference. We're going to delete this after, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but click on it and click T once again. We will delete the bottom half and then just delete the line. And we're almost there. We're going to repeat the process for the top side here, and then we will be finished.
And once you're all said and done, you should be left with something like this. Now that slot is going to allow the top star to slide down onto the bottom star. So I'm going to grab everything once again and just regroup it so we don't take any lines out of here by accident. And after that, we're ready to hit start and send it over to the laser. All right, guys, well, these turned out pretty good. If you generally follow the instructions, this is sort of what you've got left at the end. So those look kind of neat. Um, like I said, these are scaled way down from what you're going to see in the file. So if you do want to play with the file, it's kind of explained how to um, adjust everything and make it work for your wood or your size, whatever you want to do. So as always, thanks for watching. All the links to the wood and everything, the files will be down in the description below. I really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Just keeps me motivated to keep these projects coming for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.